All right, I want to start off by talking about varicose veins. So, doctor, if you can go to our 3D image wall, sure. I'd like to show our viewers exactly what's happening uh, because they're very common. Uh, they don't pose a health risk, I do know that, uh, but they're very unsightly to see, let's be honest. Yeah, they can be. Um, but thankfully, yeah, you're absolutely correct in that varicose veins don't typically pose a health risk. Um, they can certainly cause symptoms, though, and that's a miscon big misconception uh, amongst the patient population. Uh, a lot of people uh, put off maybe coming to see uh, a physician related to varicose veins, mainly because they feel that um, the, the, the problem is uh, merely cosmetic and they don't want to you know, take up anyone's time. But it, it can really be the opposite. Varicose veins is a real disease process. As you can see on this diagram, what happens with varicose veins often starts with a structure called the valve of the vein. These are basically two leaves that open and close inside the vein, much like a one-way uh, uh, swing door. So blood can generally only go upward, back towards the heart through this valve, and then when a patient stands or is in a position that doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't promote that upward flow of blood, these valves are designed to close right back up and not let any blood flow back downward to where it originated from. Valves can become dysfunctional for many reasons. One can be uh, essentially wear and tear that can happen with either aging or very intense activities. Um, valves can also be, uh, become dysfunctional from uh, trauma that may directly affect the valve and other, other factors such as obesity, hormonal effects. When these valves become dysfunctional, they don't close completely and blood is then allowed to go back downward in the vein, usually with gravity. When that happens, as you can see with this part of the vein here, which is, we'll call it a normal size, the part that's below the dysfunctional valve becomes very large. Um, the walls not only grow, the, the walls grow in length as well, which takes the vein from being nice and straight and makes it have all these curves in it. And basically we end up with what's a varicose vein.